Let's go through how we can solve a triple scalar product. In this video, I'm not going to go into the math behind this, but rather how we can solve it fast and simple to get a solution. The process to solve this involves multiplication, addition, and remembering a few steps. The first step is to cover the top row and the very leftmost column. Next, we will write down the intersecting number. In this case, it's 2. You will notice that since we covered the row and column, it leaves a box of numbers available, which are 1, 6, 8, and 9. We will first multiply across from top left to bottom right. That will be 1 multiplied by 9. The next multiplication will be subtracted from this value. So we will write a subtraction sign. Next multiplication is top right multiplied by bottom left corner, which will be 6 by 8. We will now cover the top row and the middle column. When we do this, the intersecting number becomes 3. Something to remember which is very important is that every time we switch the column we cover, we have to change the signs. Since the beginning was positive, the next is negative, so our intersecting number becomes negative 3. As before, we are left with 4 numbers that we will cross multiply. First, 5 by 9, and then the value of 6 by negative 7 is subtracted. Once again, we will cover the top row and cover the rightmost column. Now we're back to the positive sign again, and the intersecting number becomes negative 4. We will cross multiply, first 5 by 8, and then 1 by negative 7. Don't forget to subtract as before. Every time we switch covering a column, the sign must change, starting from positive, then negative, and then finally back to positive. Now all that's left is to simplify and solve. Remember that this will give us a scalar value, not a vector value. Let's look at another example. I will go through it faster now. As before, cover the row and column. Intersecting number is 1, and we start at a positive sign. Then we cross multiply the uncovered numbers. Top left to bottom right, then top right to bottom left. Remember, these are always subtracted from one another. Next, we cover the next column, and the sign switches. The intersecting number becomes 2 cross multiply and subtract as before. Lastly, we will cover the last column, and the intersecting number becomes 3. This time, the sign switches back to positive. Solve and simplify and you will get the answer. Let's look at one last example. First, we cover the row and column, and find the intersecting number. We always start with a positive sign. Next, we cross multiply the uncovered numbers, subtracting one from the other. Now we cover the next column, and the sign switches to negative. As before, we cross multiply and subtract. Moving on to the next column, sign switches to positive, and we do the same as before. Solve and simplify, and we have our answer. At first, this might seem like a lot to remember, but when you solve a problem or two, you will easily remember the process. I hope this helped, and if it did, please give a thumbs up. Thanks.